Hello everyone, Sparkman here. I am back, and the game that you're seeing right now is called Colobot. It's one of the first games that I've actually done a video on, and I've got some interesting news about it, which is why I'm doing a video on it today. What's happened is that the company that created Colobot, Epsitec, they have released the source code to the uh, community. So it's now open source and freely available. If you go out to colobot.info, you can actually download the game and play it without having to even pay for it, uh, which is really awesome. Not only that, but the community that's working on it, uh, the Polish something Colobot community, I can't, sorry guys, I don't remember what exactly what it was called. Uh, they are working on a gold version, which is like, uh, fixed up version, updated a little bit. Um, I guess they're doing some bug fixes and things like that. And uh, they're calling that Colobot Gold. So that's available as well. And they are also, um, once that's done, they're going to work on a Colobot 2, which for me is pretty awesome. Um, I'm really happy that uh, they're working on a Colobot 2. Uh, I've also heard that they're working on releasing this to Steam, so I would imagine that we're going to see this available to vote for on Steam Greenlight. Uh, I would highly recommend that if you have any interest in this game that you go out and vote for that once it comes out. Uh, I'll probably do another video once it, uh, once it is available, but uh, in the meantime I will be doing some other videos of Colobot. Uh, there are some really interesting user-made levels. Not a whole lot, to be honest. There, there, there weren't a lot of user-made levels, t to my knowledge. There might be more out there from this uh, the Polish community that I don't know about. Uh, I can't read read their, uh, their language, so sorry about that. But yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty exciting time for this game, really. Uh, getting a lot of things going on with it. And what else? Let's see. I'm trying to think of what else uh, I wanted to say about it. Uh, so I'm playing a, one of the user-made levels. Actually, it's one of the... Uh, it's not a user-made level. It was, uh, I believe, made by the makers of the game, Epstech, as a... Uh, it's set up as a user-made level, but it's actually uh, made by them. But you can go in and, uh, and play this. I think one of the patch updates adds it to the game automatically but it's not one of the uh, the regular missions is what I'm trying to say and uh, yeah I'm kind of messing this up a little bit uh, I'm doing a uh, recording recording the audio after the fact here I, uh, I've already played the game played this level through and and uh, finish it up I wanted to be able to kind of focus on what I was saying a little bit better because as it is, I'm kind of botching that as anyways. So anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested in seeing this game on Steam here in the future. Uh, interested in seeing more people get involved in playing this. I think that uh, at the game at the time the game came out, it uh, there wasn't really that much of a programming community playing games and stuff like that. I think that. Uh, we're probably going to see more people now with an interest in this type of game than when it first came out. Uh, just because uh, I think the community, the uh, gaming community has changed a little bit looking for uh, new interesting types of challenges. For, for those of you that are not familiar with this game, it's basically like a real-time strategy game, but instead of giving your units orders or, you know, things like that, you know, giving groups of units orders, you have two ways to control your units. You either select a unit and control it directly, or you give it a program to, to run. So you basically you write your own AI, or you can, you can use downloaded programs as well, and uh, there's a number of programs available to do that. It, it comes with a few, but mostly you'll have to add programs into it. Uh, so that's pretty much the gist of it. It's, uh, you know, you control all the units individually, 
or you write programs for them. And, uh, but it's, it's an interesting idea, and I don't see any other programs that really take that real-time strategy aspect and add computer programming to it. I think that's really interesting. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to, to see it uh, becoming uh, open source and available to everyone. And not only that, but uh, Callabot too. Wow, I'm I'm really excited about that as well. So, uh, as far as the uh, Callabot community goes, uh, I've uh, right now the version that's available for download is not in English. Although, you know, depending on when you see this video, that may have changed because uh, I have this version here, which is obviously in English. This is the one that I bought ages ago, like over a decade ago. I don't remember exactly when I bought it. Um, so that should be changing now that they've got a uh, English version available, which I've uh, donated. Not donated exactly, but I still have the original disc, but I, I made available to them to, uh, to work on so that we have an English version in the works. And also I uh, will plan to do some work on the wiki because uh, the English wiki for this game uh, is pretty sparse. There's not really much there. Most of the information that is on the wiki is not in English. So, yeah, I've got a little bit of work to do. Plus, I've got a few documents that were created a long time ago with individual unit specifications and radar information. All sorts of inf interesting things that can go on the wiki that will uh, be helpful for people writing programs for Callabot. Uh, let's see. What else? Uh, I'll put some information in the uh, details, in the comments, uh, or the uh, the det video details for this. Once I get it posted, uh, I'll put the uh, the link to callabot.info in there. I'll also put a link to a mirror site that I set up for a number of callabot programs and such. Uh, way back when, when this uh, when this uh, program was when game rather was was still uh, fairly popular, there was a uh, location on the original website where you could upload your own programs, basically contribute to the community. Uh, that site, uh, after a while, it died. It it wouldn't let you add new programs. So the programs were still there, but you couldn't add new ones. And then uh, a number of years after that. Uh, even the programs themselves were, were no longer available. I, uh, fortunately, I did grab those programs and download, basically made a copy of that website before that happened. So I was able to set up a uh, mirror to that website, which uh, I will put down in the comments as, or the uh, description as well, in case you're interested in that. So uh, I think that's pretty much it for now. I will uh, will let you know what else is going on for now. Just uh, enjoy the rest of the playthrough here. This one, if you're interested, is called Alert. It's just basically a uh, practice program or practice uh, scenario where you're under attack and you have to fend off all the waves of bugs coming at you. You've already got a base set up and some extra resources in case you mess up.
Oh, my God. 